You've seen the pictures of the devastation in Haiti, and you've probably been inspired to help, but rather than giving on impulse, it's important to make sure that your contribution makes the most impact it can. With more now on how to maximize your donation, we're joined by Kelly Grant from SmartMoney.com. Good morning. Good morning. I have heard of scams out there. They started almost instantaneously. How do you make sure that you're not duped? Well, the big thing is, I mean, follow the impulse to give, but don't give impulsively. You don't want to give to the first telemarketer that calls or to anyone you see tabling on the streets. Uh, a lot of the charities that do pop up right afterward, or seeming charities, are actually scams. So you want to um, just really do the research before you give. And so that follows to the next point. Um, you say to, to stick to established groups. Um, what kind of groups should you be looking for? I mean, at this point, you know, you want to have uh, some sort of a charity that has an on-ground presence in Haiti. Even a well-meaning, uh, legitimate group that's a startup may not have the connections or just the established procedures in place to get the aid where it's needed to very quickly. And the best way to find a group that is both established, uh, legitimate, and has a presence is to look at some of these online charity evaluators. We've got the Better Business Bureau's Wise Giving Alliance, there's GuideStar, and there's Charity Navigator, are three good ones to check. Um, how can you check the charity's plan? what they plan to do with the money, how much money that you're donating is actually going to make it to the people. You definitely want to look at all of those numbers. Uh, first thing to look at is really to see what their plan is on the ground. That'll help you decide if, if what they want to do jives with what you're hoping they'll do. Mm -hmm. You want to look for some specific numbers. How many meals are they giving out per day? How many houses have they rebuilt? Uh, you know, What are they doing? And try to see if they're saying more than we're trying to help. Um, also look specifically at the numbers. You want to make sure that at least 75% of your donation is going to the programs rather than to the charity's upkeep costs. And some places, I mean, as high as 90-something cents on the dollar. That is possible, right? That is. Okay. Um, and then uh, next, there's an option sometimes on online forms, and or you can write it out to designate your gift to a certain thing, like, for instance, Haiti right now. You can say, I want this to go to Haiti versus some of the other things. Um, tell us about the process to make sure that you're giving where you want to give. That's actually a very good uh, thing to do, especially in this case, or and if you're giving to a big group like the Red Cross that has tons of different programs where the money might go to, you do want to designate your gift. And it's as simple as if you're writing a check, just write it on the check where you want the money to go. If it's online, then usually it's as simple as checking a box or making a note in the special instructions box if they have one. That that's where you want the money to go. Now you touched on this a little bit before about how logistically complicated it is to set up a charity to get the stuff where it needs to go. So um, a lot of charities I hear, they, they say, we love this, but please, no stuff, no clothes, no whatnot give cash. Exactly, because I mean in this case, yes, people in Haiti do need food, they do need potable water, they are going to need clothing and shelter, but just logistically it takes a charity so much time and money to sort through all those donations and then get them there. So it's just much easier and simpler for them to give them cash, let them buy what they need and get it there quickly. Um, and then uh, giving cash specifically is a great idea, you know, writing a check, um, even some credit card issuers are waiving the fees that would normally be taken out of a donation, so using your charge card is fine as well. Alright, that's great. Kelly Grant, thank you so much for the information. Thank you.